Good afternoon, Lindenwood. Welcome to another episode of FYI. I'm your host, Marina Nichols, and to my right, we have the contestants, Sam Skaggs, Adam Kelso, and Lexi Cady. On this special edition episode of FYI, we'll be playing a round of Lindenwood trivia. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one round, and we're gonna take a short break after, and then after that, someone will be eliminated, and we'll start round two. Is everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, first question. What do Lindenwood sports teams go by? Lions. Correct. What? what? Okay, so uh, one point what? for Lexi. What? <laughs> Naturally. Okay. In what year was Lindenwood founded? 1824. Ooh, not right. Somebody else has a chance to answer. Sam? 1825. No. <laughs> 1826? You're all wrong. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, I'm sorry, you don't get a second bite. 1824. Lindenwood was founded in 1827 and is the oh, second so oldest university west of the Mississippi. God, guys. I knew that part. Well, you didn't know the first part. <laughs> <laughs> Who founded Lindenwood? Lexi? Um, it was uh, uh, Mary Sibley and her husband. Yes, correct. It was Mary Easton Sibley and her husband, George Champlin Sibley. Yeah. So one point for uh, Lexi. None. Next question. In what city is Lindenwood located? St. Charles. Correct. And here's a bonus question. Ooh. What city is Lindenwood's satellite campus located? Belleville. I buzzed, <laughs> and it's Belleville. You said it wrong. Oh. Belleville. All right, one point for Sam and one point for Adam. It was a free point. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, next question. What is one. the name of Lindenwood's radio station, and what channel does it play on? Is it KULC? No. no. Okay, my bad. I don't know. LU Radio? <laughs> All right, Sam, you want to take a crack at this one? No, I'm not even going to try. I don't know. All right, the honest. answer is 89.1, The Wood. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> no That's great. Yeah. Okay. All right, and uh, next question. Who is the current president of Lindenwood University? Uh, Michael Shonrock. That's question. Dr. Michael Shonrock. Let's take a look-see. <laughs> Correct. Dr. Michael Shonrock has been president of Lindenwood University since 2015. <laughs> Is that we're play? Okay. Cool. Getting dirty. Okay, I'm going to ask one more question before we cut to our break. About how many students attend Lindenwood? Around 12,000. Correct. Around wow. 12,000 so students, specific. approximately 8,400 undergraduate and 3,700 graduate students. Okay, we'll be right back after a brief message. Stick around. Can you help me with this? My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Sure. He helps me with homework. That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Okay, welcome back to this episode of Lindenwood Trivia on FYI. So um, on the scoreboard, we have Lexi at four points, Adam at one point, Woo! and Sam at two points. So I'm sorry, Adam, but you are eliminated from this round. It's okay. I'm just happy to be on TV. Let's give him a round of applause. It was nice playing with somebody. <laughs> Better luck next time. I have our next two contestants, Sam Skaggs and Lexi Cady. Before we begin the second round, why don't you guys tell me a little bit about yourselves? I rang in first. <laughs> For once, I beat her to it. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I uh, go to Lindenwood, so I should know a lot about it. Um, this is my second semester here. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm taking a lot of video classes, learning how to create movies and stuff like that. So 
it's been a blast. I love the campus and everything about it. So That's awesome. What about you, Lexi? Well, I have been here for two years, and I mm. have hosted um, the YouTube series for Lindenwood, and so naturally I know tons of trivia, tons of history. I mean, before I came here, I studied up, got to know my campus and everything like that, and since it is a women's college, women are very empowered and so <laughs> I learned a lot about that and just the roots and where my university came from. All right, you but better yeah. watch out Sam, she's coming you for you. Yeah. All right, let's start this next <laughs> round. How did Lindenwood get its name? Sam? Uh, I believe that Lindenwood got its name from the trees that were around where the campus was made. That's correct. The land that the Sibleys purchased was known as the Linden Wood because of the many linden trees on the property at the time. Let's, let's look right. at the score. Look at that. Okay, so we got First one place. for Sam and zero for Lexi, the empowered Weak. woman. Weak. All right, next question. Um, so I'm from St. Louis, and uh, driving to St. Charles, coming to Lindenwood, there's plenty of billboards um, with, with about Lindenwood saying different things about it, and all the billboards that I've seen have three A's that Lindenwood is known for. Can okay. you guess the triple A's of Lindenwood? I just said it. Three A's, art, academics, and athletics. That's correct. Uh -huh. All right, next question. Oh, How many student organizations are on Lindenwood? Over a thousand. No, I'm sorry. Sam, would you like to go ahead? Um, around 532. You're both wrong. It's 69. <laughs> <laughs> Your thousand made me think it was way higher than it actually was. Hey, that's what happens. All right, next question. How many acres of land is on Lindenwood? 2,300. No, I'm sorry. Sam? <laughs> I'm going to go with around 427. Let me re-guess. Around oh, 200. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. We don't do that. It's 5,000. Oh. <laughs> it's a big campus. All right. Uh, one more question. What uh, sports division is Lindenwood? D2! With an occasional D1. It's a, right? the second division. Yeah, D2. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, it looks like Lexi is our reigning champion, so Lexi, any words for your fans? Um, once a winner, always a winner. Mm. All right, Sam, uh, anything about being a sore, sore loser? Oh, I'm not a sore loser because I will be back and I will take over first oh. place, so I'm not sore at all. I, just, I know I need to study and I'll be back next time, so Anyways. be watching it out. You know what, Sam? That's what happens when you know you're you, you're in your second semester. It's okay. You're just now learning yeah. the knowledge, but like overnight and throughout this next year, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll all soak in. And that's what happened to me. Like this fall, like all the facts just kept soaking in, and I kept noticing things on mm -hmm. billboards. You know, dates. You know, the the little cemetery. I like really <laughs> made sure I went and visited that more. And just the more you get to know your campus, and the more you see it, the more you learn, the more you observe, and the more the more of a line you become every single day. Oh, wow. Yeah. So hopefully next year will be my second year. And you're, I'll be able to like come on. You're like a lion on. cub right now. You know? Okay, it's like I'm a baby a lion. lion. Yeah, you're a baby. And one day I hope to be a, a big lion And like then you. everyone can hear you and roar. And then I'll be up on the top of that. Everyone is hearing me roar, but next year you will be roaring. Just like Katy Perry. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. That's right. She'll be roaring. But unfortunately, she's not a Lindenwood lion, so. <sighs> that hard she She's is, not though. roaring as hard as we are, or as hard as Lexi is, at least. But if we have time for one more thing, uh, Taylor Swift's grandma went here, and that's kind of a fun fact. But anyways, I think that's all the time we have. Well, I'm the host. I'm the one who's supposed to know all the questions. But anyways, we're out of time, so thank you so much for tuning in. My name, again, is Marina Nichols. Thank you so much to Lexi Katie, Sam Skaggs, and Adam Kelso. Have a good evening. Thank you.